Hey, this is Ben Beezier with Broward College. Today, we're in Naples at Jeff Smith's camp. And this is Jeff Smith, the first base coach for the Minnesota Twins. So Jeff, one of the toughest things for coaches is to find a good, solid way to communicate with players. What are some of the things that you found in your coaching career that have helped improve that and make that better? Def definitely one of the challenges of, of coaching in uh, this day and age is always the communication with the player, especially we're in a unique sport where we have 25 guys and uh, 25 personalities uh, that we coach. And in a lot of cases they, in college, they have 35 personalities that they have to coach. And I think I use that word personality as much as anything. And one thing that I've, I've really adapted to and I found over the course of my coaching career to make it a lot easier is I've really found a way to uh, understand each player differently, to find their personality, to find how they learn, to find how they go ahead, how they adapt to different situations. And I found I, I formed a relationship with each player, and the more I found and formed relationships with each player, the better it is I become a teacher to them. Each player that I have comes from a different background. Everybody comes from a different lifestyle. Everybody has grown up differently. I played for different leagues. Some travel ball. Some have played down the Dominican. Some have played overseas. Some they've all come from different. They've all kind of conjugated, on, like all of our teams have, all from different areas. And our goal as a coach is to to find a way. One, how do they learn? Number two. How can I gain their trust? And, and, and that's a big word as a coach. How can I gain that trust? And for me, it always starts as a relationship with the player. If I can form a relationship with the player on and off the field, because sometimes I think us as coaches, we, we, and even when I was a young coach, I was a little fearful of forming a relationship off the field sometimes yeah, to start absolutely. out with because yeah. I was young. I thought, okay, I'll form it on the field, then let them have their time. But I think forming a relationship, knowing how, knowing how they operate a little bit, really goes a long way caring about their family, caring about the way they learn. It goes a long way. And I think the biggest thing with uh, today's kids in teaching is keep it simple. Keep it simple. When we can keep it simple as coaches, our communication to them is very, very easy. I, I think the biggest thing for me, too, is treat all 25 guys or in your case 35 guys the same and for that that's that's an important coaching style is whether your player is your 25th player in your team or your number one player be fair to them all treat them all evenly yeah. if they're in the batting cage they all get the same swings if you're going to spend time with them they all get the same amount of time whatever you're going to do spend equal time with each of them and that and that going to be said but besides just being fair is all 25 guys have to feel value yeah. Yeah. find time to be one-on-one -on -one. You know, it's fun to be five-on-one, but five time to be one-on-one. -on -one. That's when you're really going to learn the personality of your players. Okay, I got an infield outfield. I got batting kit. But when, when do you have just that one-on-one -on -one time? And the other thing is we always harp on what someone's doing wrong. Harp on what we're doing right. When you're evaluating your players as coaches, when we're going ahead and evaluating, I think we always say, okay, what does he do wrong? What can he get better? I don't think we always say as coaches, man, what does he, look at all these things he does right. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. We really, really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. We got a lot of valuable information. Thanks again. Really appreciate you having me. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks.